All right, today I'm going to show you how to set up Drip Remix and add mods to it. So let's get it. Go to the online area, sort by download count. It should be one of the top mods in R2 Mod Manager. So once you do that, download it. If you haven't already run it in modded mode, you should do that first, just so it can set up some files over here. Configuration files will be created and you can look inside that. It's basically just messing with your controls. Disclaimer, if you're on Steam Deck, I would not recommend F5 on Steam Deck. It doesn't work that well. Everything else works pretty fine, except characters. I'm not sure if that's a Steam Deck only thing, but either way, I only mess with the, the gear model stuff. So, I usually set like a key bind for G and then the rest is just mesh up, mesh down, texture up, texture down. So just save that once you're done and we're going to figure out where that mod folder is for Drip Remix. So you're going to go to Steam, browse local files in Bomb Rush. So this is different from where the, the character mods go character mods you open from R2 Mod Manager, this will be open from Steam. So once you find the Drip Remix folder, you'll notice characters and gears. So for the gears, the idea is once you download a skin, like these for example, these are downloaded ones. And once you download a texture file of any type, it will come into a folder after you unzip it. And you just put the folders next to the other folders inside the folder that's inside a folder that's inside the folder, if that makes sense. But, yeah, the characters and all that, we're not going to worry about this right yet, because very important detail. Drip Remix website, you're going to notice in the instructions tab that the creator really recommends an example zip. Well, the first time I did this, I did not use the example zip and Drip Remix did not work. Second time, I downloaded example zip, but I dragged everything straight into the, the folder and just replaced it automatically. And I'm just going to show you how I got it working personally. So you're going to go to the example zip, reach this GitHub, view raw to download it. Once that is downloaded, go to your download folders and you will notice example zip. So drag that to your desktop, extract. All right, we're going to go back to Drip Remix over here and then open the one we just downloaded. And notice side by side, these are basically the exact same. But this is a newer one. It's a little bit more bare bones. So if you already have any mods like Sonic, all that, you're going to want to put that stuff into the newer folder. Don't worry about replacing the older stuff. Just put the newer things, the mods you downloaded into the newer folder. And if you've done the same thing with characters, do that too. Don't worry about these new folders that are opened up by modded characters. Once you open up the game again, they'll be recreated. But this is like OG characters with default packs. Read the instructions on skin files and they'll basically tell you if you need to put it beside the folder or inside the folder. I haven't really messed around with that so I can't tell you. Anyway. Once you situated everything to how you want it, we're going to be back on here. So the Drip Remix, old characters and gear folders. We're going to take these out and just drag it to your desktop or another folder. I'm not going to do it because I already did it. But yeah, once it's empty, put these ones in the Drip Remix folder and then go to R2 Mod Manager, start the game modded at least once, just, just to make sure. 
and then yeah it should be all set up if it's not working right just let me know any questions or concerns i'd be happy to help i mess with this stuff a lot so i end up figuring out problems myself that i can't find the solutions to online so i i definitely understand like the search for an answer i definitely get that um for steam deck users once you go into gaming mode and you want to use drip remix keybinds i recommend r4 for g so you hold g and then you press like the up and down the cycle through you know the textures or the models so g as the keybind or uh r4 as g and then left analog and L4 as up and down for mesh. And then R5 and L5 for texture up and down. So hold G and you can cycle through textures or cycle through the models while you're on Steam Deck. Those are bindings I re recommend. You could do whatever, but honestly, that seems like the most comfortable on Steam Deck. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Any questions or concerns, let me know. Hope you have a nice day.